Welcome back to another Tech Tuesday. Um, my name is Stuart, or Mr. Lee, uh, and we're going to talk about Google Cast for Education today. Google Cast for Education is a way that students can share their screen with the teacher without having to swap out devices or log in and log out and log in and log out again um, as different students or different groups come up to present. Um, there's an app that the teacher needs and there's an extension that the student needs and both of them are produced by Google uh, therefore both of them are free and both of them work reasonably well uh, first I'm gonna show you I'm gonna try to do this video where I have uh, half the screen as the teacher view and half the screen as the student view um, and hopefully they're labeled and so you'll be able to see both sides of the scenario as we go um, let's see how that works out First off, I'm going to go to my Chrome web store. And I'm going to do a search for Google Cast. And in that search, this is the same search I'm going to do for the student side and for the teacher side. Well, I've already got it but under apps is where we're gonna want for the teachers and under extension is where we're gonna want for the students. Um, I can't add it to my Chrome because I've already added it uh, but you'll see one of these little blue buttons that says add to Chrome just click on that go through it'll ask for some permissions uh, just accept and the teacher side of things will be good to go. On the other side of my screen going through and looking at the extensions and I'm adding the extension to the student side. Uh, as the teacher you can have both the app and the extension. You just need to make sure that you understand which one will be receiving the screencast from students and which one the students will be using to, sh to send you that screencast or you could send that screencast to a another teacher um, or another screen somewhere else in the room perhaps. Um, so the students will add the extension. Uh, if the students add the app, it's not a big deal. Uh, there's nothing they can really do with that, um, with the way the, the sharing and the, and the settings are set. Um, other students could cast to their screen, perhaps, uh, but it, it's, it's kind of a moot point when it comes into the classroom kind of setting. Um, they won't be able to do anything with your computer if they have the app. Let's put it that way. Uh, so the students get the extension teacher gets the Chrome app um, and then once we're good with that we're gonna go to our apps and it's right there in our apps so we will click on that and here we go this is what the app looks like we're going to initially have to set it up so we're gonna pick a receiver name you can pick any name in the world that you want uh, I'm in my office right now I have another computer set up in the, the classroom where I teach from uh, so it's called something different just so I can keep myself clear and also keep the students clear as well so I'm in my office right now I've called this computers app mr. Lee's office um, it defaults to automatically full screen presentations and it defaults to automatically send user statistics to Google that's a background thing go ahead and leave it checked that way Google can take uh, statistics and users um, error logs and, and make the product better for you um, you don't have to do anything with that uh, Google does it all in the background if you want to display background images from the web uh, you can do that as well um, instead of this gray you can pick some other picture that you want it doesn't matter and then once you're done you can save then you're gonna to want to share you don't want to share it to somebody so that they can actually ask you for permission to cast uh, so I've already shared it with my faculty classroom if you click on here it pulls up all the Google classroom classes that you are currently a teacher in so I'm not I don't teach the networking class but that teacher has included me as a co-teacher on that class so I can actually use that one if I wanted to um, any class that I'm a teacher in I can use if I don't want to use a Google classroom class I just want to add some names I can actually type in
the person uh, email address and then I can give them a can present which means they don't need to ask me they can go ahead and just take over my computer and present over top of me or I can leave it as a can request if I click add it'll add his name to the list here and he'll be included if, if people that can cast to this device um, if you add a, a, a classroom a Google classroom classroom you can pick can present which means they can just start presenting whenever uh, teacher can present students can request which is what I would recommend uh, this means that the teacher computer is the only one that can present in this in the little network that you're building um, and the students can then request to present via the teacher computer um, or if I'm done with this class and I don't need these the students in this class being able to do anything again I can remove access so I'll leave it as teacher can present and students can request um, I don't need him in here I'll save and so now the teacher side is done that's all we need for the teacher side for the student side of things I'm trying to do this outside of my eye um, we have the extension and it's up here where all the other extensions are when you first open it we're gonna get this little pop-up we're gonna say okay I got it and then it's gonna show all the Google cast for education um, devices that I could cast to so in this scenario there's only one the one I just set up there's a couple of options here that we can look at we can cast if we click on the little down arrow we can cast the tab that we're on so in Chrome you've got tabs at the top if you've got multiple tabs whichever one you're on you can cast that tab and that tab only so if you were to be casting even if you change that tab or minimize the screen uh, that is going to be what shows up is what's in that tab or you can cast the desktop if you cast the desktop you see the whole desktop so you could minimize Chrome open up Word or Excel you could switch between tabs uh, say you were given a presentation and part of that presentation was a live video and you had that open in a different tab or, or something to that effect um, you would cast the desktop but you're gonna have to pick cast the desktop each time you want to cast the desktop it defaults to cast the tab so if you just come in here and then click on mr. Lee's office and then start casting it's gonna be defaulted to cast the tab unless I've gone in there and changed the setting um, so let's go ahead and cast to mr. Lee's office and see what that does and we're just in the Chrome web store here so it's nothing special but let's just take a look or well we can pull it up later so I get a I get a notification that says uh, guest can cast request and it tells me who it is it's requesting and they say they would like to present so I can accept them or deny them so I'll accept and let me make my screen a little fit in here there we go um, so it's gonna take a second to connect up but we're casting at this point okay so just to show you I can scroll up and down this is the teacher's mouse this is the mouse from the student so you see you'll end up with two mice mouses on the screen at the same time if I were the teacher I would just move mine off to the side somewhere um, out of the way and then the student can present so the student is presenting something about Google web store uh, or Chrome web store now on the student side you see I'm opening up a new tab so now on the student side I'm on a new tab but in the cast screen I'm still on the original tab It's because I'm casting that tab and that tab only um, so I could even go to Google Drive up Google Drive on the student screen but on the teacher screen that's being cast it's still the original tab um, so I can either stop casting by clicking on this X on the teacher side or I can click on the extension again on the student side and stop so I'm gonna stop from the student side now the teacher side's gone back to my screen again um, and let's say I want to show like a presentation 
So we'll close the extension. I'll pick something in my Google Drive. And now, this time I'm going to cast the desktop. So, so we know it's casting the desktop from the student side because it says cast desktop. And we click on Mr. Lee's office. And it asked me, because I have two screens set up on this computer that I'm using as a student computer, um, do I want to cast this screen or this screen? It gives me a little picture of each screen. So I want to cast screen one. Now, if, if your students are casting from a Chromebook or something like that, it won't matter. Uh, they only have one screen. Uh, so I'm going to share that one. And I get a little notification down here that says that it's sharing the screen and then I get a notification on the teacher side that says the student is requesting I'm gonna accept and so now I see everything on the student screen so let's go I'm gonna switch tabs so before we couldn't switch tabs uh, this time I can switch tabs I can go back to this, I can minimize if I needed to, I could open up an Excel document, um, any, anything I need to do. Uh, and, I, and I'm sharing it to the teacher screen so I could go through a presentation, I could lead the class in a lesson, um, anything like that would work get this over here so you see the student is, is, is controlling all of this and I'm just sitting back as the teacher watching um, then as the teacher as the teacher I can always X out or as a student I can always stop sharing um, those are the two ways and the students have to be logged in in order to be able to use this service and so you always know who is presenting um, who is sharing their screen um, at any given time so I'm gonna close that out a um, couple things to note is that I'm gonna go ahead and close this too uh, on a Chromebook the students are automatically logged into Chrome on a desktop or a laptop they're not necessarily logged in so if they go to settings in Chrome so your, your, your three dots your snowman three dots whatever you want to call it um, and then make sure that they're signed in with whatever account they need to be signed in with to be able to access your Google Classroom. Um, in my case, it's our school account. So make sure they're signed in with that account. Um, if they're not, you can disconnect uh, and then re-sign in as the correct student. Uh, that's the only way to get the extension to work correctly. Um, it's always a good idea anyway because it'll bring your your bookmarks over your extensions over that kind of stuff so no matter what you're logged into as long as you log into Chrome everything will come with you it'll be the same experience on any device um, other than that it's pretty straightforward it will bring audio across uh, I didn't do it in this situation just because I'm recording and, and that gets complicated when you start trying to cast audio when you're starting to record audio um, but uh, it's a it's a super handy tool um, I know when I was teaching I would have students come up and present and I always had to use USB drives which is bad because you know you never know what's on a student's USB drive you could get all kind of malware viruses that kind of stuff uh, by accident also you, you had to go in open it wait for it to load that kind of stuff uh, or if they're doing something through Google then you had to log out and they had to log in or you had to add their account to yours um, in order for them to get access to it or if you were if you were just going to use their device you had to unhook one and hook up the other and it was just a huge pain now there's no pain anymore all you have to do is just get them to install this app this extension um, you install the app you set it up once and you're done and anytime they need to present or even show you something if they're working out a problem or working on a project and they say hey mr. Lee um, can I show you what I'm working on so that you know I can get some help 
you can say, hey, just cast it to my screen real quick. We'll throw it up on the smart board and get it, the whole class working on it. Um, you know, there's all kind of options out there for using this. So I hope you found this useful. I hope you go out and use Google Cast in your classroom. Um, and if you're one of my teachers, let me know. I want to come see how it works out for you. Uh, until then, remember to subscribe to my channel so you can catch up with all the latest tips and tricks that I've shown you. And have a great week.